After last month's conflagration, we can begin to pick up the pieces of our lives. Whatever needed to be broken, did so. Events that seemed shocking were actually not so if we were honest with ourselves. The writing had been on the wall for a long time. This is true whether it is a personal, professional, national, or global situation. Fortunately, with this month's mainly Taurus energy, we can find the groundedness and strength to begin rebuilding. Yet before we get started, when the Sun in conjunct Mars on May 2nd, a last wrecking ball may be hurled. And as astrology returns us to the scene of the crime, this final topple may have a connection to events set in motion at last year's solar eclipse on November 3rd. Everything that happened last month may still require attending to. Basically, the major work of the next six months, until mid-September, involves picking through the rubble of our old lives and salvaging those people and activities worth investing in. And we, we may still feel unmotivated and exhausted during these final weeks of Mars retrograde in Libra. Everyone, particularly men, are finding it hard to take appropriate action. Women have been experiencing problems with their male counterparts either in terms of disappearance, confusion, inefficiency, or lack of maturity. Relationships have been teetering back and forth between growth or extinction. The main issue has been one of fairness and equal give and take. Resentments may have required airing, so if you've done your venting, you may have the ability to bring your relationships to the next, more mature, and balanced level. Yet hint, for those who have been grappling with possible separation since 2010, it's really cosmic time to throw in the towel. Once the planet of life force energy and ambition moves forward on May 20th, we will regain our mojo and certainty about what needs to be done to bring our new life into being. Note, this life does not really begin until July, so we are now laying the groundwork of either our escape or rebirth. And as always, where there is death, Pluto's rampage last month, new life follows. Venus, planet of love and values, moves into Aries on May 4th, setting the tone for more independence and adventure in relationships, the results of which will be seen next September 2015. Jupiter is now moving quickly through his cycle in Cancer, where he is exalted, and on the 24th will trine Saturn, planet of manifestation. This is a great aspect for buying or selling a home and bringing into form a new commitment to a mission or group endeavor. Jupiter in the sign of the mother also brings into focus our relationship with the Divine Mother. She is all we have and all we need. In fact, our rejection of her in terms of science and materialism have led us to this moment of debacle. While Jupiter the teacher remains in the sign of the goddess for two more months, let us focus our attention and gratitude on her, our real source, instead of false gods in the sky. To assist in the mother love, Mercury moves into Cancer on the 30th, just in time for mom and apple pie. The low form of Cancer is sentimentalism, xenophobia, and clansmanship. So on Memorial Day weekend, rather than festering in false nationalism, let's put energy behind a more universal, unconditional love of all mankind. We are grateful to the mother and to you for joining us on this journey, and we hope that you continue to subscribe, share, rate, or comment on this video. The energy is going to happen, so you might as well enjoy the ride.